guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to today's video so love today we are heading to germany and the title of the video says must eat german food the ultimate german food tour so i'm here to react about this particular video i hope you enjoyed this one with me don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you have not like share and comment and let's get started I'm Emma, behind the camera is Alex and today we want to show you some of the foods that you have to try when visiting Germany. For us, travel isn't only about seeing new places, but also about having new experiences. In this video, we hope to encourage you to try something new and to experience some of the delicious cuisine Germany has to offer. Guys, we're back in Germany. I can't believe it. And we are so excited to be bringing you along on another series around Europe. We're making our way down to Italy. In the last series, we had such a blast on our trip around Bavaria. So we had to include Germany on our list of places this time. So we are here in Cologne. And as it turns out, there's more to German food than just sausages. So today, we're gonna eat our way around this beautiful city. But first, make sure you leave in the comments what's your favorite German food or what German food would you like to try? I have subconsciously been training for this moment for about the last 10 years. <laughs> Since in my 20s, I've been getting fatter and fatter every year. And now I've come to realize it's so my stomach would expand to fit this inside it. <laughs> This is the pork knuckle, which is a popular dish here in Germany and especially in Bavaria. I had to get it just for the comically sized dinosaur bone that you would see in the Flintstone. I can't tell you the smells that are coming out of this, but it's outrageous. I have been addicted to German food since our last German series and I went crazy for sausages. I wanted them everywhere. It's taken every inch of willpower to not get sausages and get something else. And I've still gone for pork. I've gone for the biggest bit of pork that's ever existed. <laughs> Traditionally this was peasant food because it's an inexpensive cut of meat which they would marinate over a number of days and then slow cook it over a number of hours. It comes on a bed of mashed potato with sauerkraut. Where do you start with this? It sounds very salty. It looks perfect. Oh my god ridiculously good is it it's as good as it looks which is a massive compliment because it looks amazing <laughs> germany has to be one of the best places for meat eaters i have talked in the past about turkey being a great place america is a great place for meat eaters germany is well on your list <laughs> but germany is not just for meat eaters there is plenty to choose for vegetarians also i have gone for a traditional german noodle dish called kaiserspatzel um, it's essentially a German version of mac and cheese. You have noodles covered in cheese, and in this case, also covered in onions with a side salad. Not important. What we're here for is the cheesy nudes. That looks good. That's really nice. The kind of, the gravy and the onions on top give it a really savory salty taste oh my goodness I mean it's definitely not healthy it doesn't taste healthy in the slightest but actually the thing that I find with mac and cheese at home is it can be a bit too sickly this doesn't taste like it's gonna be too sickly because the cheese isn't an overpowering cheese taste I think they usually use a mixture of cheeses but usually stuff like gouda which is quite mild this is delicious they just have is looks so so matte watery i i think i i choose the um pork more than the mac and cheese she's eating okay i would like to take that pork with that salad together nice right yes the pork looks so juicy on the inside and crunchy on the outside like yo that is giving me vibes all right guys so let's see what food that we have or what food they eat more so let's keep on exploring you right there Al? I'm dying that's not a normal amount of food to put in your body <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get like halfway through the meat I've got it to take home with me <laughs> this was just the first meal <laughs> but we need to have the value <laughs> of the best this. food to eat in Germany so we must power on. <laughs> Just give me a minute. <laughs> I, 
I'm now ready for round two and the next thing to do has to be a beer garden. These things are all over Germany and it's where you're going to get your snacks. I need a bit more time to create some more space for another big meal. So for now, the next thing that you need to try, I've never tried this before, so it's also the thing that I need to try, <laughs> is Met or Metbrocken, which is basically raw pork, yes, raw pork with bread. It also has raw onion on top. I'm pretty excited about basically all German food, and this is one that doesn't really excite me. Raw pork? Just the raw pork <laughs> aspect. Raw everything. But here they serve it in a lot of the beer gardens, so I've got to test it out. Nice crunchiness on it, right? Germany, you've done it again. <laughs> it's amazing. Really? Mm. Mm. I think inside it's just got maybe some spices, some salt and pepper. It doesn't taste raw. It's hard to explain, it just kind of tastes sausagey and nice and porky. Is it like a pate? Yeah, that's a good way to serve it. So it's kind of like a pork pate. I think that they have specific ways of serving this so you don't get sick. So it has to be eaten on the day of being served. But I can say that I'm pleasantly surprised and you definitely have to try this when you come here. I'm mm. shocked. Mm. Nope. So and then wash it down with a local beer. I'm not sure I'm going to try that one. Oh, the Germans, you've nailed it. I am super excited to try this. What I have ordered is Kartoffel Puffer, okay. which is essentially potato rosties um, served with different things depending on what you're going for. The, one of the more traditional ways to have it is actually with apple sauce, apple sauce, which is not what I would think initially that you would team with potato rosties. Um, so I'm really intrigued to try it. If you watched our last series when we were in Bavaria, we actually cooked up some of these to have with a breakfast, kind of in place of like a hash brown or a potato rosti um, and it worked really well although it's not the traditional way to have it um, so today I thought I'd go a little bit more traditional and I try it with apple sauce it's so crispy and crunchy oh I don't know if you can hear that but it's just listen to that <laughs> there's a lot of oil there <laughs> so oh my goodness so essentially it's like potato and then maybe to bind it I think there's flour maybe eggs also um, but essentially it's just potato that's all it is okay and so this is the apple sauce it's actually got really big chunks of apple in there initially you have all of this really crunchy crispy corner bit and then underneath that you have this kind of salty smooth potato bit on the inside with the sweetness from the apple surprisingly good I, I can't decide which I prefer with the apple sauce or savory I think they're equally as good but just for different times this is definitely a must try in Germany definitely a must try in Germany The potato, I'll call it potato pancake because it's like pancake. If there's potato, there's flour inside, there's egg. It's like a pancake, right? I love the crunchiness of that. And I'm definitely know that with eating it with the apple sauce, it's going to be lit. Then that raw big, that raw pork and bread, like, you know, I don't think I'll try that because it's raw. Nah, I'll not try that, but I'll try the second one she had. All right, guys. So... These are four meals they have eaten and they literally look so, so interesting and mouth-watery apart from the pork, the raw pork. I don't think I'll try that one. But anyway, let's see where else they're going to head to. In the summertime is the wasps. They are relentless and they're everywhere. They'll hover around your food, your beers, and especially, as we've just found out, the bakery. In Europe, if you're not going to the bakeries, you're doing something really wrong. The Germany is no is exception. Like there are so many things to choose from. It can be quite overwhelming. I actually went inside this bakery to get a uh, pretzel, but I thought, why not try something completely new? And something that I've seen everywhere here in Cologne, especially 
actually. They're called nugget pretzels and I actually don't think this is bread. I believe it's pastry twisted to look like a pretzel which is covered in nugget and um, or nougat, I don't know how you pronounce that, and slices of almond. Ooh. I really have no idea what to, what to expect but there are hundreds of them hanging inside the bakery so they must be popular. Even with all that wasp juice? I hope the wasp juice is what gives it its delicious <laughs> flavour. Um, well, I can see why the wasps like it. It's incredible. This is now my final meal of the day. And I'm going to be honest, I am struggling. So one of my little tips for anyone that needs a second wind <laughs> is to get a Coke or a fizzy drink of your choice. Other brands are available. Now what you do is if it's nice and fizzy, it should bubble up inside you. You have a little burp and it frees up loads of space and now I'm ready <laughs> for what is the final meal. This is the world famous schnitzel. If you've lived under a rock and you're like, what the hell is a schnitzel? It's basically a piece of meat that has been pounded into the inch of its life and then covered in breadcrumbs and then fried. There is a bit of debate where this originally came from, but there is no debate that this is a very, very popular dish here in Germany. And it's the dish that was most recommended to me on our previous series in Germany very excited to try this. I can't believe I never have, considering it's just meat and breadcrumbs. This sounds right in my alley. I've gone for a pork one with a mushroom sauce, which apparently the Germans love drizzling on. So, when in Rome... <laughs> Does that look as bad as it looks to me? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I could do it in a nice sexy way, but I think it's more funny to just let it, like, plop out. <laughs> <laughs> and then one more, ready? Plop! <laughs> I already know that I'm gonna love this. I just don't know how much I'm gonna love it. So your, your third pork dish today? I've had a lot of pork and not <laughs> with no sausages, which for me is a miracle. I love it, obviously. In terms of the meals I had today, worst one of the day. Oh, oh my goodness. Which I am surprised about. <laughs> it's a little bit dry. But I think that's the restaurant that I'm at, not necessarily the meal. But I still love it. I don't care about that. The mushroom sauce is great as well, and there's a lot of choices for different types of ones. I went for mushrooms, but there is plenty for you to enjoy. Our final food on today's gastronomy tour of Germany is Flammkuchen, which is essentially a flatbread or pizza style food. Um, it's traditionally, rather than tomato base like the Italians would do it, it's covered in a creme fraiche base and the traditional one is served with bacon and onions, but I've gone for a mushroom and onion version as I'm vegetarian. It's really thin on the base, I don't know if you can see quite how thin that is, but I think this is going to be a pretty epic beer garden snack because it doesn't look too stodgy. It doesn't look like it's going to fill me up too much, but it looks pretty tasty. This is an epic beer garden snack. This base here is so thin and crispy and light. That's not gonna fill me up at all, which is good because the beers certainly are. Um, the toppings are actually really thin. They haven't gone overboard with them or anything like that, so it's not too overpowering. It's light, it's tasty, perfect to have with a lovely German beer. I need a C-section because <laughs> this food baby is coming out stat. <laughs> I'm so full. But that was a pretty epic day. That was pretty amazing. <laughs> that was more calories than, um, well, that's not more calories than I consumed in a day. I've done that before many times. <laughs> what was your favorite thing? Okay, it wasn't even on the menu today. Sausages is still the number one thing uh, I've had in Germany. Pork knuckle second. <laughs> Schnitzel way down at the bottom compared wow. to everything. Sausages is the must, Which is must funny because actually today at the beginning of the day, schnitzel was the thing you were most excited to try. Disappointing. That's how it goes. Whereas I was pleasantly surprised by the baked goods that we got at the bakery. I was not expecting that and it was lovely. So leave in the comments what food would you have most liked to try from today's food? And what did we miss out? What German foods did we miss from this list that need to be tried? 
So aggressively put that in the comments, tell us how wrong and how crazy it was, we didn't try anything. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, we'll see you next time and beat out! Quite interesting, I literally enjoyed the meals they had, apart from the bread and um, raw pork, that one, and don't think I'll be trying that, but every other meal they have, I'll definitely try it. And he said something about the uh, pork, the bread, the pork that he ate with the mushroom, being more of a germany meal i don't feel it's more of it i think it's more of europe because i have seen some country like italy poland czech and there's some other country that have done that particular meal they eat it either with bread uh, with um, pork like bread crumbs pork egg and the rest fry it or chicken so the combination of eating that particular pork with um mushroom looks literally amazing and i want to try that combo together i hope you enjoyed this particular video let me know your thoughts in the comment section which of the food is your favorite as i said my favorite for today will be that pork leg the crepes like that pork the first meal they had that would be my favorite and uh, yeah i'll see you all in my next one bye